Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be responding to the mighty Lugotorix who made a video on how to beat the Romans in Rome Total War. Well, Lugotorix, my friend, if you're watching this, great channel, good content, but on this particular video, my friend, you forgot something very, very important. The, the cheese. cheese. You forgot about Greek horsemen of doom shaped cheese. And one can never forget about this. They are the key to defeating the Romans and I'll show everyone just how effective they are on very hard difficulty. Yes, that is right ladies and gentlemen, on very hard difficulty we'll be fighting a pre-Marian Roman army and a post-Marian Roman army using only two Greek generals and 18 Greek cavalry units. After these great battles we'll actually be talking about the practicality and advantages of doing this on a campaign. Alright guys, let's do the first battle, pre-Marian army, custom battle, very hard difficulty, Syrian flats or grassy flatland, I mean it's, it's pretty much the same. So, Greeks versus the Brutii, let's give them a nice pre-Marian army. So, first one is ours. General, Greek cavalry. Easy. Couldn't be easier. And their army, it's very easy as well. Let's give them two generals, two Roman generals. Alright, let's give them some equites. And now we give them four of this, four of this. Um... Nope, not these guys. Valites, okay, let's give them three Valites units. What else do we have to give them? Let's give them two Triari. And now there's still two remaining. Let's give them some Prinquipes. Or one Prinquipe and one Hestati. Usually they have a good mix of it. And I think this is a pretty decent army on a pre-Marian army composition. Alright, let's go. That's it. You know, you can see that my army is quite a bit cheaper than their army, but it is what it is. So let's go. You are not guaranteed to win this fight, okay? So we actually need to use brain a little bit so that we can win this fight. So let's do it. Let's uh, put everything here on the left flank. And I, th I think that this is a, is a must. You know, putting your army over to one flank. I think this is really a must. And now... We, we can just run and go and attack that flank. You see, th the, the big difference between pre-Marian and post-Marian, there are two big differences. First one, it's the morale of the enemy army. And then it's the armor of the enemy army. So not only in post-Marian will you be doing less damage, you also need to do more damage in order for the enemy to actually run away and lose their willingness to fight. So, let's just use our cheese over here. We're going to take that Roman general. Okay, we're just gonna keep moving with these guys. Alright, perfect. They, they did fold. Which is wonderful. Oh, look at that. Our cav is just, uh... Let's get those Prinquipes. They have some Wellites right there, but... Alright, we're attacking them on the back. Okay, they're already routing, so that's wonderful. And now we need our blob to kind of form. Oh, look at that. Our blob is forming. That's wonderful. What is that? Those are Triari, so we can just move back. We don't, we don't really want to fight the Triari. At all. Let's, uh, let's keep everyone nice and close. That is also a Roman general. Okay, let's fight the Roman general. Let's fight the Equites there. Okay, there, that Roman general is gone. I mean, he's not really gone, but he's almost gone. We actually gave them quite a lot of cav. I didn't know they had so much cav. But, okay, but the Equites will lose. Okay, so they are losing there. What are these guys? These guys are Velites, Velites, but they are gone. So now we can just put those guys also out of their misery. They will come back. I think they will come back to the fight. I mean, very hard. They usually do. 
Um, I don't know if they're coming back to the fight or not. So right now I want to retreat because my blob is just half. The Triari are here, they are eager, they are encouraged. Let me just get in the blob. The big blob. Oh, look, they're coming back. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Alright, let's go against the Roman general. Everyone is going against the Roman general. When will he start wavering? Okay. The enemy general flees. The gods be okay, he's dead. dead. Alright, we need to go back. We need to go back. This is not how we how we win the fight. They're all here, so we cannot push through that, right? We're gonna need to um, use other, more modest ways to beat the enemy. Come on, guys, get the heck out of there! Of course, my guys started routing. Of course. Oh man, oh no, I'm getting I'm getting mass routed right there, am I not? These guys are Hastati, they're routing, we can keep going there. Okay, so we completely broke The Astadi are resisting, actually. Let me just use the horn. Those guys are Triari. Let's get on those Prinkopes. Okay, but look at that. And now the mass route is coming. And we can just go to town on them. Okay, now we have our blob back. There's some Triari there. Okay, but the Triari are out of the fight. And now we can just go from unit to unit. Um, and... And just beat them. Look at that. They're a study. Boom, routed. Okay, boom, routed. We can just keep jumping. Let's keep jumping. Well, it takes. They're easy. Okay, we lost a ton of guys, okay, but this is very hard difficulty, so the enemy show their true virtue. let's just continue. You could, you could just continue, you could just get units killing all of the Romans out there, because I think that's a cool, very cool thing to do. Kill them all. Alright, screw Rome. Um, poor Romans, man. Poor Romans, when they, when they find an army full of cavalry. But this is on very hard difficulty. Of course, it's going to be harder. They're going to take longer to route. So you're going to take a lot of casualties here. All right, let's just exit the battle. And you're going to see just this how this was. They killed 800. We killed 2,400. Okay. Now we're going to be fighting against the post Marian army. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. All right, let's go custom battle. We're going to be able to do quite a little bit of damage. But we will not be able to win the battle. I mean, I don't think we will. Maybe I will try that. But we'll see. And you, you can try it. This is actually a pretty, pretty good challenge. It's like, can you beat a post-Marian Roman army with just Greek cavalry? If you can, please give me a link for the video because I want to watch that on very hard, of course. It has to be on very hard, is it? Yes, it is. Just to make sure. Just to make sure that I'm not cheating. All right. Okay, so let's get the general's armored bodyguard because we are on the late game now. And we're just going to use these guys. We're not going to use any upgrades. None of that nonsense. We are just going to get a good old Roman army right now. Roman armored general right there. We're just going to get one because they're pretty tough. I, I don't want to make this that tough on me. So let's use two Roman cavalries. One legionary cavalry. I very rarely see Praetorians or even Praetorian cohorts, urban cohorts. But let's just for the sake of argument, let's just use two. Uh, I'm going to use maybe a couple of these guys. I usually see them mixed up. And then we're going to get 
two auxilia two of these guys one of these guys one of these guys and they usually kind of like using this as well i see a lot of auxilias though i usually see a lot of auxilias okay i think this is a pretty decent army for the romans it's um just four thousand denarii more than me we'll see how this one goes let's get right into the fight then and if if in, in the off chance that I lose, which I probably will. I've done this battle before, okay? I've done, the, I've done it a few times. I just won one time, so it's very, very difficult, okay? You can do it, but it's very, very difficult, and I would advise you not to do this with the Greeks. Anyway, if you're, if you're in late, late game with the Greeks, the Romans should not be on the map anymore, and you should have beaten them a long time ago, probably with the cavalry under the Roman... Uh, uh, before the Marian reforms, okay? That's what you should be doing. So look at that. They have their best cohorts right here on the left flank. Uh, and we should not go for it. We should just start hammering right through the middle. But with this cavalry... Nah, I don't I don't think we, we're, we're going to be able to. Let's, you know, just for the sake of fun, let's just put them all on... on this formation. All right, and uh, now we're just gonna go over there for that Roman Cav. That Roman Cav is going to route instantly. I mean, maybe not instantly. Okay, uh, I don't. I don't want that guy attacking. All right, now you can attack. Uh, and as soon as that routes, we're probably gonna turn on that Praetorian cohort. Look at that. Oh wait, they're not routing instantly. All right. So everyone immediately swarms this. Okay, they are routing. Okay, let's go for the... Not for the urbans, let's go for the legionary cohorts. While we still have big, big numbers, right? We need to make advantage of it. Okay, let's go back. Wow, the Roman cavalry is already back on the battlefield. Wow. Okay. Are you serious, Roman Cav? We're charging them again. We have one of our units route already. Okay, but now they're done. Alright. Let's just get our guys out of there. If this was Legend of Total War, he would probably be beating the crap out of the Romans at this point with the, this much Cav. Because he's so good at microing. And for this, you need to be good at microwing. I mean, oh hell yeah! What is this? Oh, it's the Praetorian cohort. Yes. All right, just take them out. Okay, we can... Uh, let's just take the Ballista out. That's an easy target. And there we go. What is that? That's an Archer Auxilia. Oh, that's interesting. We actually managed to round one... Oh, no, that's the Praetorian Cohort yet still. What is that, by the way? That's a Light Auxilia. Alright. We are just trying to pick off... A unit at a time and we already picked off quite a few units but look at the amount of Greek cavalry that died it's insane isn't it so I see the archers right there my guys are already tired Uh, my calves are not too happy about this engagement. Let's try to get their general out there. Oh man, yeah, no, I lost that engagement. Even against a light auxilia, we just lost that engagement. Just so you guys see, that that, sh that is an engagement that um, any cav unit should win. Is a broken tool. 
Okay, we just routed that auxiliary unit. It's uh, it did cost me one unit. So. Oh man, look at that! That guy suddenly just routed. I would want the Romans to sit there on the middle, though. Okay, let's let's take those guys out. Oh man, did you see that? I lost so many horsemen right there. Okay, okay, there we go. This is it. It's a defeat. God should witness such a oh, all right, all right. The cheese does not work for the post Marian Roman army. All right, spare me. But there's still a point to be made because, you know, if you are the Greeks, you probably have beaten the Romans by the time the Marian reforms would come along and if you are the other factions that live far away from the Romans when you get to the Romans you're gonna have way more powerful units to fight the Romans will you not cataphracts elephants chariots the world is your oyster but how feasible is this on a regular campaign depending on your faction it might be easier or harder to pull off I'm going to focus on factions, factions near the Romans, so no eastern factions will be considered as they'll find the Romans mid to late game and they'll already have access to either cataphracts or other good but inferior cav cavalry to the cataphracts of course that can deal with the Romans with ease when massed. Barbarian factions will have access to barbarian cavalry early and they'll be able to start spamming those easily. Carthage will be doing the same with their round shield cavalry and Macedon with the light lances. So for these factions I'd say it's not difficult to start massing your cavalry units. With Numidia, the Greeks and the Thracians things are a bit different and more difficult since you start with missile cavalry instead of melee cav. It'll take a few turns to unlock the next tier of stables and thus unlock the melee cav unit that you so desperately need. Fighting with javelin cavalry only is doable but considerably more difficulty and micro intensive done with melee cav. Still, on medium and hard difficulty campaigns, you can manage that easily, but on very hard, it really depends on the AI's aggressiveness towards you and the amount of units they throw at you. Considering you were able to survive the early AI aggression and you have your position secured, maybe even expanded a few settlements, what benefits are your cavalry only armies bringing you? Well, first off, mobility on the campaign map you can move way further with cavalry than you can with with infantry units second romans lack spears and hastadis or prank don't have the good morale traits meaning they're susceptible to chain routes and morale shocks charge them from multiple directions and they will break easily third early game cavalry has cheap upkeep especially barbarian cavalry with their 90 upkeep all right but we're talking about round shield cavalry equites greek cavalry to name a few all right you know and we're not even talking about the the militia cavalry okay this third point is actually extremely important since you can use the extra cash to bribe armies or cities and buy cities from the ai you'll be making very good money by having only peasants on your cities and cavalry on the field you can bribe armies you don't really want to fight you can bribe and protected cities you can buy cities from the ai for whatever money you have that you actually don't need so you you're going to be making gains not only on the battlefield but also in diplomacy which is awesome which is perfect i've done a cavalry only campaign with the greek cities on my last stream and we've beaten macedonians pontic peoples seleucids romans and whoever else came our way we beat with just Greek cavalry or militia cavalry. There was lots of bribing, lots of fighting, lots of fun. Uh, so consider heading over there, you know, link in the description, by the way, and follow me on Twitch if you guys so desire. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you try to do cavalry only playthroughs next time because they are they are a ton of fun, to be fairly honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Mr. Turd and I'm signing out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.